I went from condos to pops house, on calls now bus routes, and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Now, um, going back to uh, Lockdown a little bit, which was uh, a great movie. You know, I probably watched that movie at least 50 plus times. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, when it come down to that movie, though, it was like, um, I believe you explained some 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 damage that it did as well, because it was a part in it that affected you um, that made you actually even cry. I believe you explained um, um, what part was that? And can you explain, you know, why you went it there? Was, uh, yeah, that, that, uh, the movie itself. I think it's one of my best acting performances because I had an opportunity to showcase my skills and the range that I have. However, it was one scene where, you know, my character had to like basically get his this rapist or, or a molester fellatio. Even though it's acting, it still touched me in a wrong way like in a negative way I did like what the what does this have to do with the movie cause if a mom, if somebody was to try to force me to give them head I'm gonna bite your penis off straight up yeah. nigga I'm not finna let you just dog me you gonna be a, you gonna be limped up out of here dying up out of here or something yeah. but yeah man I didn't like that scene at all you know, and I told the director that, but he was like, man, you know, you already signed the contract as far as, you know, you knew what the character was going to do. We just going to shoot it one time. Just give me one shot, man. After I did it, I walked away and went somewhere alone, and I, you know, I, I shed tears, man. I was hurt. I felt like I did something that I shouldn't have done, or even though it wasn't real. Even though it's acting, it's still, it was like, it was like, give, it was like giving life to that shit or <sighs> condoning it or believing that, you know, it could happen. And I didn't like that, bro. I hated that. Wow. To this day. And that's the part I didn't know. So you actually tried to get that scene, that part I'll, taken out. Hell yeah. Wow. But and I couldn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? The director, John Lesson, I was like, man, come on, man. This is just one shot, man. And it ain't real because the guy was, the, the, he's down this way, but the camera, the angle, it looked like he right in front of me. He way away from me. He not even touching me, you know what I mean? But um, it still was uh, dehumanizing. <sighs> like, emasculating me, basically, bro. Got you, got I think you. that's what they try to do. They want to tear a nigga down. Uh, you know? Wow, wow. Yeah. So that you feel like that's how it is in Hollywood, you I, know? I do believe when it comes to us, it's somewhat like making mockery of, of God since we, I know we his people. So it's like if I, they can get us to do that, it's to shun God and say, yeah, look how we got your people. Yeah. And that makes them get off with they love, you know. Yeah. How they think and Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Wow. Wow, man. Now, after doing that and playing that role, did it affect you afterwards? Like did you deal with things after playing that role or when it was done, it was done? It was done. Once it was done, it was over. I didn't um it didn't it, it, it affected me. At that time, and when I after I filmed it, but as far as me carrying it with me into my in the future and all, no, I let that go, cause I do realize it is acting. It wasn't real, so you know I just let it go. I never do it again, though. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause what I know now, I wish I would have known then, and I would have never done that scene. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the director, I didn't even have to audition for the part. Uh, called me in, saw me in a television series called uh, Touched by an Angel. Uh, and I did a, a a performance that he admired so much, he just gave me the part. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I want you for this role. It's controversial. It got a little this, a little that. And, and I was like, Shh, I'm trying to keep, this is my, my career. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's what I do. Hell yeah, I do. And I don't got all... Yeah, man, I'm growing, I felt. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. Yeah, real talk. Did you um, have a, a personal relationship with Master P? 
on that Master P is a great man, man. Business minded, superb, man. He's not no one to play with when it comes to business. Because, you know, some people on the set was thinking they was a little bigger than they were. Coming to set late, you know, not taking things serious. And P called a meeting for everybody and said, look, man, I shut this motherfucker down right now. If you don't want to work, get off, go, and I, I start over. And um, I guess they got the picture, you know, because wow. motherfuckers start being on time and we got the picture done. And, you know, all in all, I, I, that's, I still, to this day, I love that movie, man, except yeah. that one scene. But the, the movie was amazing, bro, yeah. acting-wise. Yeah. Oh, no, it was great. I had to show him that I was a man.